Hey folks, I just wanted to share with you my uh, test stand that I, my way of dynamically testing a motor. Um, theory being is everybody does it at a right angle and they go for wide open. So they run the thing wide open, at max, max PWM signal of uh, 1950 or whatever, um, run the thing all the way up, see what amp load it gets, and then see how much max load it'll put out. Uh, to me, that's very static, and that only kind of tells you part of what's going on. Um, my theory is I want to get more of a real world how it's feeling, so that's why I'm using a old triple beam scale. Um, I'm going to vary the weight. Uh, for, we're going to do quad here, mini. Um, so we're going to try to do weights for 300 grams, 400 grams, and 500 grams. So we're going to put 75 grams. 100 grams and 125 grams set on the scale and the idea here is is we're going to run the motor up until we get the scale to balance and when that balance that means it's hovering that corner of the quad well then we're going to take a look at the amp reading and then we're going to go through the different props that I have here for mini quads and we're going to compare the amp reading at different adjusted ground or adjusted liftoff weights um, what it takes amp wise to hover a 300, 400, or 500 gram mini quad. Uh, today we're using a DYS 1806 uh, 2300 KV. Uh, this motor's brand new out of the box. I ran it for about five minutes or so, you know, just to break in the bearings and make it all happy. Um, my rig here is 10 inches from here to here to right out to the end of the stick. Uh, this is sitting on the end of the center of my scale. Uh, and the quarters or get away my way of uh, balancing the stick and the ESC. So without the motor on, everything's balanced. Um, I get into that, but that was a whole different subject of why I was doing that. You could either balance your stick with the motor or just balance your stick. And then that way you could just swap through different motors and your stick will stay balanced. And then you could just set your scale to what you're doing in terms of lift and stuff. Uh, today we're working with a gym fan. 530 prop. Um, not really a big fan of these, but they're cheap dime a dozen. Not very much more expensive as these HQ props. I really like these, but a HQ 530, kind of the rumor is, it's got less bite, less pitch than the Gem Fan 530. We'll see how that performs. I also got some uh, HQ the 545s, or 5045s, excuse me. We'll try them. Uh, I got some Jim Fan uh, 6030s, uh, just a regular nylons, some HQ uh, 6030s, and the HQ 6045. So we'll try these out, and uh, we're going to test uh, using 3S and 4S, uh, all on that DYS motor, and we'll see where we end up with all this. And I'll just give you guys the numbers, and you could draw your own conclusions on what's the best motor or prop for you, or at least. Maybe you go out and build this rig for yourself like I did, so that way I could go, hmm, I'll buy one of each of these props from all these manufacturers, and then I'll try them on my little rig here, and then they'll tell me how much amps it's taking. And then that'll also give you kind of a stick feel. You can play with the stick a little bit and different weights on the scale and see how responsive the uh, prop and the motor combo is for the weight you're trying to lift. Versus doing it out in the air, you can kind of get a more of a feel here on the ground. And um, that's why I prefer this method. Um, hope you enjoy. Um, keep watching.